Okay, today I wanted to take a look at this video of the uh, late Jared Rome. I believe this was his uh, PR. Take a look at a few things here in this short video. I've got a couple of yellow lines here. This first uh, yellow line here, this horizontal one, is going to show you where his uh, right knee is as it comes around. Right there. See the knee? Okay, so it's pretty much right on this yellow line. Just wanted to show you that he's not uh, going up. See the, the knee is right here on this yellow line. He's, uh, there's the knee right there still. He's uh, driving linearly into the circle. He's not jumping upward. There's the knee right there. Okay, you can see as he uh, turns and finishes, there's the knee again, right on the line. Right here you can see he drops down a little bit. There's the knee right on the line. So as he touched down with his right foot, he's going to then sink down a little bit and kind of gather his forces. See his knee right here is down below the line. And he's going to come back through with the bent knee. Just a little bit above the line as he comes up on his toe. Okay. You can see that too looking at his head, the top here. He doesn't really uh, rise up too much as he jumps in. Forward into the circle. Okay. The other thing, uh, this uh, angled line here, that you see this vertical one here, I uh, just wanted to point out how he's rotating right at this point from his head down to his uh, left foot. You'll watch him rotate here as he releases. There's the release. You see how he's turning? I like to call that uh, having a chicken on a spit. So he's just kind of rotating right there like a rotisserie. It's pretty amazing. Now that he's released, then it, now his upper body will move forward. Another thing I like too is how he blocks his left arm. You'll see it. You can't really see it, I guess, but it's uh, right behind this yellow line here on the other side. And uh, okay, now you can see his shoulder here. You can see everything moving forward. Forward from that spot, okay. The, the uh, last thing I wanted to talk about with this throw was uh, he drops his left knee down here. He stops it pretty much toward the throwing direction. It's hard to tell from this from what, but that's what it looks like from here. He's, it's pointing down this way, the knee and the, f the left foot. Then you can see how he really pulls with this left arm and the right leg comes forward, but it's against this solid left, uh, this left foot. It's pivoting around it, like, a, like I guess like a fulcrum. I used the term like a seesaw before. Everything's moving around that. Watch that left arm and that right leg move together. And see how they just pull and push against this uh, stationary left side here. He comes up a little bit, but you see when he, his foot comes off, the knee will still be bent. So he's not driving himself upward, he's driving forward with that low knee. I mean, look at that right here. He's got a very low shin, almost horizontal. But uh, yeah, you can really see, really see this left arm pull. Okay. And then they see the uh, right leg respond, being pulled forward. Now he, he has this straight leg here. I really like this uh, this video that shows how he bends it. He kind of, I, I guess the, uh, what's happening here is his right foot is slowing down to get under the foot now. Or I'm sorry, the foot is getting under the knee. Like this, hor it's uh, vertical. So it's kind of slowing and dragging down, so it gets below. Now, this shorter leg now, because remember it was long back here, this shortening is going to make him a lot faster as he turns now. You can see that? You can see the acceleration? See, it's kind of slow here. But then uh, as he bends it, as he comes up off the foot and he drives in. Now... Uh, one of the camps I went to where he, he talked about you want to be in the air. So pretty much right here he's lost contact. 
because he's is up on the very tip of his toe here on the left. So he's pretty much in the air here. And you'll see his right foot's in the air. Next frame, he's still in the air. And now he's touched down. So it looks like for a good two frames. He said in his camps that uh, you have to have this flight phase, a no support phase, so that this lower body can catch up or stay ahead of this upper body. Because it's so much longer and larger, heavier, in order to w that's the uh, that's the time where you want it to really accelerate, is when the both feet are off the ground. You can see the acceleration from the straight right leg here when he gets into the air and he really t turns it and lands. But uh, yeah, I really like how this shows this long stretched out position he has. He has his uh, left. Uh, shoulder way past his hip. You'll see uh, people like Volley Rallman, they'll be almost vertical here between the uh, left shoulder and the hip, but he uh, really stretches it out. So he's got this long left arm and this long right foot. And then uh, he shortens the uh, right leg right here. I think he, what's happening, yeah, uh, it's just a slowing down of that foot and acceleration of the knee. So the, the foot then drops down below then it can turn really fast and then we see the uh, right here the rotation right around that axis right around that act that backward angle you see he's got no arch in his back he's in a very strong position here it's straight line you see the same thing with uh, Valerie Almond when she uh, throws to the other videos I've made okay just wanted to bring those a uh, few points up of this uh, Excellent throw for him. All right, thanks.